Family members are off the hook. Now listen, when you think of block parties, you think of community, and you yeah. think of making memories and capturing those memories. You had the mm -hmm. most amazing photo booth at your wedding. And I thought, what a great idea. I mean, what, do you remember we this? Had, oh, we had so much fun. I didn't put out, the, oh. by, the, by the way, this, the Sawzall and the rope and everything else. Oh. We put out some fun props and, of course, this creative team oh. that I work with every day. I know. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, well, like, you know, some things are private. Wow. So, but Not I will. Family. There's a There's a rule. When I started in this business, I was a cameraman working in local news, and I was taught a very valuable lesson. And that is, if it didn't happen on camera, it didn't, it didn't happen. happen. <laughs> so the memories that you have, take time to capture those. Make those memories last forever because you're going to look back at those and you're going to see True. pictures of little Alexandra going, oh, or even that little video clip that we shared today. And it helps bring back, it reminds us why we're all here and why we're all connected. So what I wanted to do is take a moment and recreate, show you how you can recreate sort of a photo booth idea outside because you don't want to do it in your house. Everybody has to traipse. No, it's a whole neighborhood. You don't so you do it outside, there. but now you're going to do it during the day. So you got sun to deal with, so some pointers right. for you. Also, we had, Julie and I had wonderful props that we had set up yeah, This our was house. our favorite yeah. thing. It was a lot of fun, but today we're going to do a little twist on it and make these props a little bit more Labor Day-esque friendly so okay. you can really take it to the next level with that. Uh, so let's get into some of the props first and show you what we did here. And we're going to make all the props uh, and give, we're going to put online our templates for you so to you download do so yeah. you can do this yourself, print these out, yeah. and then we're going to get into the photo booth idea. So, yeah. Kim, I'm glad you didn't shave today before you came. Wow, to you need to wax. Um, <laughs> so, you want, like, like this, for instance, these templates will be online the corn on yeah, the cob, which yes. is so cool. It's cute. The oh, hamburger. Oh, the They're all muscle. here. You can see everybody's grabbing them. It. The, it's so much fun because it helps tell the story, and every photograph should have a theme of a story to it, whether it's you're being really somber and it's just a, a look or it could be the silly stuff that exactly. you guys all did in my garage. <laughs> and this is so great. Why? Exactly. We did this all in your garage Ice. and mm -hmm. we've been sharing those photos with each other non-stop since your oh. wedding, which is great because I, if you are having a party, everyone's going to look back every year and say, oh, remember we did that? Yep. And and no. I still have, and Julie can tell you this, <laughs> we still so haven't gotten through all of the pictures because when you work with PV, people in television, oh. take a lot of pictures. They're not trying. trying. Wait, wait, wait. They're not trying to take a few what? pictures of themselves. You know what the best part about these is it leads to gnarly FOMO. Fear of missing out. Yeah. Oh Anyone God. that wasn't there, it's they're done. like, no, yes. the photos yes. are like the best evidence. Um, uh, here's how you can, oh, when, oh. The, to finish off the props, you need the little sticks. Now you buy these, they're very affordable online. They came with these little okay. stickers that you can peel and it took forever oh, to do. Right. So I said, let's just use the glue gun. Yeah. There you go. Get some yeah. of these skewers. Is there glitter in that glue yeah. gun? There's no glitter. Wow. There's no wow. glitter on any of That's these weird things. For us. When you buy the little bamboo skewers, make sure the pointy side is the side that you actually use to glue to it. You don't want to have yeah. this for your you guests to grab because you're going to you're going to jab yourself. You and go. then you just lay some yep. hot glue. Oh, thank in. you. There you oh, go. Look at you. Oh, look at oh Jenny, you look at so wants to get the DIY department. It just goes and just let it sit and dry. She's and until it gets set. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, oh. let's move on to some of the <laughs> things okay. which I now, love. Now, truthfully, yours was inside, yes. so you had a controlled oh, lighting environment. Yes, but I wanted out to here, eliminate light and control all the light. It's much different out here, and you yes. can't really control what's yeah, going to happen. Happening? So what are the tips? Like right now, outside? I can't control that I'm standing in direct sun because that's where the cameraman put me. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather be where? In the shade. open shade. Mm -hmm. What is open shade? Well, let me introduce you to open shade. Let's Please. come over here. Could you, Dr. Mark? Well, this here. is an area that we're standing in right now called open shade. Mm -hmm. there, there, we are in complete shade, as our family members are, but if you look up, it's completely exactly. open. Right, okay. This is beautiful, soft oh, light that comes down upon us. So you want to try to create that. We put up a background. I wanted to put this up because I wanted to eliminate the clutter, someone's backyard, trash cans, all that other stuff, and keep it very simple because then you focus on the, the props. props that you have and the guests in the neighborhood and the story that's being told uh, rather than what's going on behind you. Yes, exactly. So the paper drop, uh, backdrop, uh, they're, they're affordable. You could use a sheet if you wanted yeah. to, something that was plain and white. In the event that you don't have a backdrop, and you're in a position like this, I would ask you to stand with your back to the sun. It's the most forgiving light because you're putting yourself in shade because the sun's behind you, and it'll make a much softer, better-looking picture. Right. We touched on that a little bit. Okay, I want to point out, though, 
You do have some amazing gear that you did bring with you, you like this lighting package. I do. I, well, this is, I, I, my kids will not go to college. They're barely eating now because I've spent so much money on camera. <laughs> That's gear. not true. But, no, but I will say anybody who is a photographer will take, uh, uh, they will go way out of their way to thank their lighting guys. True. So JK and all the crew around here, they know what, how important light is. So if you're a photographer, the first thing you really want to know is not the camera, it's the light. I'm going to show you the difference between what you can do with light and what you can't with this sort of setup. And if you're saying, I can't afford something like right. that, your neighborhood can. You can right. rent this stuff, get everybody together and say, hey, I need $10 from each family. We're going to go around. We're going to get, rent this gear and do it over the long weekend. Right. Sometimes you get that extra day for free because they're closed anyway. And the truth is, it's a block party, so everybody's paying for the block yeah. party. So if you just ask for there's 10 no or $20 There's no film. There's no development. You have a camera. People will and, love and, this. Right? This is going to be the thing they're going to So remember. let's do this. I'll show you what I'm going to do with, with no light at all. And then we're going to do the switch, okay? okay. So uh, how about if we get a prop? Like, why don't some of you guys hop on in here? This little T is my mark. Julie Norbert. Just a couple. Um, we'll save Norbert to the end. Okay. Okay. So you get together. Now you have to stay, come up to that. Come up to that little T. Work. You, you want to work together. You want to keep it in a. Keep it in a nice tight. Get over here. You're good, right? This is good right here. Okay, right here. Now we're gonna do the take the shot. I'm a little bit overexposed because I want to open up their faces. I want to be exposed for that. So here we go, ladies. Right here. One, two, three. Orly. Good. Nice. Let's see. Let's I'm see what it came lady. out right. Behind it. I know that. As though that's necessary. Oh. So now, that's other than the, the light. Yeah, this is without the strobe. This is without. So all right, you guys out. Let's bring okay. In okay. somebody else. Let's do another People quick one. Yeah. Kim, hot one in there. I don't have any. Put, problems. Let's just put these. These two together because oh, this is no. come together, come up on the mark, and it's always nice to have a, a, a mark so they know where to stand. If they were professionals, they would know the T is where the toes go. Whatever mark. What I did also for our, my guests Julie. is I took a piece of tape and I made a boundary so they knew that's where they needed to stay. Oh, is that what that was for? Okay, yeah. that's They're what that was for. Breakers. That's what it was for. Okay, here we go. Here's another one without a flash. Three, two, and. So How again, we we're just exposing, and we're, it's really about the story between the two of them. <laughs> no is, lights, right? no lighting, no lights. lights. Oh, that's so beautiful. Now here is why I want to say here. lighting is important. That you want to do. I'm going to turn this strobe on. Okay. Um, our next group, please. Okay. Who is our next? Who's group left? That's Dot Who's Marie. Left? We need Dan. We need Come Jenny. On, Dan. Dan. Dot Dan. Get in there. Right. Hop on in. Come on, baby. Okay. Get in there, Jenny. Hop on in. Oops. Come on up. Now, okay. Again, It'll professionals back. know that We're the not. T stands on, for toes. Oh, there yes. we go. Yes. There we, we just go. Heard that. Oh, there we go. Tall. I know, right? All right. Kenny. Now we have taller guests, so I'm going to come up a little bit higher on this. Do this. Try not to shoot up your your friends' noses when you're doing this. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here we so go. This is with the strobe. This is with the strobe. Here we go. Let's see how this now what the lighting effect will do on our guests. Oh. Oh. Wow. So now you have a little okay. bit. Okay. All right, let me tell you. Out. That looks right. like they're taking a professional shot, like a photo shoot, where you yeah. see the natural yeah, light coming through. Yeah. But yeah. the other one is not side. bad. I'm you telling you, you don't need all of the equipment or whatnot. It's so much better. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's so much better. I got one with the Norbert Okay, let's okay. get, how about a little bit of Norbert little stuff? Norbert. Yuri and Jenny. Get in there, Norbert and Jenny. I happen to know that Norbert loves a nice, like, burger every now and then, and... Let's see if we can get his attention. Hey, Norby, Norby. Oh my gosh. We... Open your eyes, oh, open treats. Oh my gosh. Do we get right one? And that, I think, ladies and gentlemen, is the winner. Was that with or without the strobe? That's with the strobe. That's the strobe. Let's see. Right. Okay, everybody, everybody come get up, in. Pilot. Everybody get in. Get in here. And one last thing I want to point out: while we're all getting in, I can't be left out of this. Okay. So I'm going to zoom this all the way out to make sure that we all get in. So I'm going to shoot a little bit of the backdrop as well. You get in the We can all crop this later when I get in. Oh, I want those big sunglasses. Okay. Are you getting here, Mark? Next year. Let's all get in. Now I'm using this is a great shutter release cable, which we're tethered tethered to the camera. Everybody's looking here. We all le lean in, squeeze in. On the count of three, one, two. Let's see if it works. Let's see. 